Hey guys, it's Roby from Dot Not Feather again. Uh, it's been a while since we've made our last video, probably close to about two months. Um, and you guys may be wondering why it's taken us so long to get the next video out. Well, I finally started walking again. Uh, foot's recovering, so I'm up and around a little bit more, so try to catch up with the rest of life. So I haven't had a lot of time to just directly focus on these videos, but we're going to make up some ground here and start pumping them out as soon as we can. With that being said, uh, the videos themselves are going to change a little bit. It's not always going to be static two-position videography that we've been doing here. We're going to start taking some videos of action shots and things like that. Kind of involve um, the real-world application of some of the guns that we're showing here. So it kind of just makes more sense and gives you a whole picture of the firearm and not just uh, me describing you know, two-dimensionally what it looks like and how it acts and you having to take that information with you and derive your own conclusion. So hopefully that's more exciting for the viewers and uh, we're excited about it too to get out there and start doing more things. Well the purpose of today's video is actually uh, two part. We're going to do a little unboxing of the Vickers gray frame Glock and we're going to kind of compare and contrast it versus your standard Glock and kind of see where the benefits are, uh, what really pushes the buyer to get something like this versus just going and getting an off-the-shelf Glock um, Gen 3 or Gen 4 that's readily available at any of the sporting goods stores or FFLs around you. So let's take a look at a regular Gen 3 Glock. So here is your standard Gen 3 Glock 19. Um, everyone's pretty familiar with this four and a quarter barrel here, 15 round magazine capacity. This is a factory new one. We've got the standard Glock sights, five and a half pound trigger pull, Nothing really too crazy or out of the ordinary on this one, right? So that's that. And then here's the Vickers. So this is the Vickers G19. This is the second edition. This is going to have the gray frame, Gen 3 RTF grip. And we'll go ahead and start looking into this and kind of pointing out the differences and the similarities between the two. So we've got our standard Gen 3 G19 here. This is just how it comes from the factory. Uh, we haven't done anything to it, added any accessories. It is actually brand new. Got your plastic Glock sights there, five and a half pound trigger pull. Um, nothing has been done to this. It's just been test fired from the factory. Really no hood wear, nothing. So for all essential purposes, it is brand new. Uh, we haven't even shot it. So what we wanted to do is just bring it out here to kind of compare and contrast against the Vickers version. So we'll just kind of put this one over here. You guys can kind of see it a little bit better and then we'll take a look at the Vickers version. So the Vickers here, you can tell that it's a little bit different um, right off the bat when you open the box. You've got a different color frame. This is the gray frame, which is available in the Vickers, and I believe Glock is even introducing in some of their other firearm lines, um, pistols and stuff that are not exclusives. The in interesting thing to note here is that this is a Gen 3, so uh, Mr. Vickers himself had gotten with Lipsies or however that came about, and they said, Gen 3 is the way to go, but they want to keep that RTF texture frame. So this is going to have that little dot pattern. It's going to be very rough in your hands. Uh, really gives you a good amount of grip when you're holding the gun. And how you can tell that this is different than the Gen 4 version is the Gen 4 has an RTF type grip. It's rough, but it stops right below this thumb swell here. So you're not going to see the pattern coming up to the top all the way up here to uh, the Glock and Skip and insignia and scripture right here. Other than that, there's been a couple of noticeable add-ons to this gun itself. You've got uh, Vickers sights here, and this one's going to have a rear U-shaped notch. You can kind of tell from there. And you're going to have a front fiber optic. It's green. These are made by Wilson Combat. And a couple other additions. You're going to get a Vickers slide release, Vickers magazine release, and one of the coolest features is the Vickers takedown tool uh, right here where your rear plug would go. So the cool thing about this is it acts as a pseudo magwell. So when you're doing reloads, if you've got that magazine, you can bump into the back of this and it'll force, force the magazine into the grip of the gun. It does come with a standard five and a half pound trigger, so no improvements were made on that front. But like most Glock enthusiasts, you, everyone's got their own favorite trigger, so whether it's a Deus Ex Machina or a Ghost or Zev or whoever, a tear trigger, everyone's got their own favorite and they're more than willing to drop them in. The other interesting thing to note about these uh, being the second edition of the Vickers 
Glock from Lipsy's is that these don't actually have uh, the special serial number. So the first edition, which came out in Flat Dark Earth, all had a serial number that was 000 LAV, whereas these are generally a BAUA and then a series of numbers or something similar to that. So you won't see the LAV that you may be familiar with from the first version. Aside from that, um, handling wise, it's very similar to a standard Glock. Uh, the addition of the RTF frame is really something that's kind of, really something kind of you can get your hands around. You can really feel it. It feels very comfortable in your hands. Uh, it doesn't move around. So if you start sweating or if your hands are wet for some reason, muddy, bloody, sweaty, whatever it, it may be, um, you really get a good purchase on this grip. Shooting it, the recoil is just the same as a standard G19. Um, but the RTF gives you just that additional bit of grip so that you feel more confident in what you're holding on to. So aside from that, these two guns are going to be identical um, with the addition of the accessories that you get with Vickers. So for the nominal price of probably around $125 to $150 more than a retail Glock, you get upgraded sights, upgraded slide stop, magazine release, you get the butt plug here with the takedown pin and you also get the RTF frame here which is a really really uh, nice addition to the whole package. This is truly meant to be a defensive combat type of handgun here now. Um, you've got everything that gives you that adds value to the purchase but doesn't take away anything. There's no frills here. You get the factory trigger so you're going to remain reliable. It's the factory springs. What they've added is the most popular additions that most Glock, Glock owners that are shooting uh, competitive uh, defensively or just recreational shooting are going to do their guns anyways. For the second part of this video I kind of want to do an unboxing because a lot of people uh, seem to enjoy those unboxing videos where you get to see what the item is going to be like when it's delivered to you and since I had a brand new one here I figured we might as well just throw it into this video to kind of give you guys an idea of what the package actually looks like when it gets to you. So this is my second Vickers uh, gray frame Glock. This is actually a G17. See right here. If it ever clears up. So we'll go ahead. I have not touched anything in here. Uh, they generally come with a bag of accessories. So you're going to have your slide stop, your magazine release, uh, your butt plug, and some other accessories, magazine base pads that come in a pouch. So we'll go ahead and open this one up and do a little unboxing. All right, so we've got our standard G17 here. So very similar to the G19, um, aside from being a G17, of course, longer barrel, longer grip, shares the same RTF frame here. Okay, you can see that butt plug has not been installed, so this area is open. Get a magazine in here, do a safety check, all clear. Same gray frame, sights are pre-installed. See the factory slide release here, factory magazine release there. So go ahead and put this aside and look through the box and see what we got. Got the magazine. All right, here is your pouch of accessories. Now inside of here is a Tango Down sticker, a Vickers tactical bag. What you've got are your two base plates uh, that are going to replace the factory base pads on your magazine. You've got your takedown tool here, and that's the butt plug and takedown. You've also got your magazine release and slide stop in here. So the accessories themselves come prepackaged in this bag. They're not actually installed in the gun when you get it, but you'll probably spend about 10 minutes in time and a little bit of effort there getting it put in yourself. So nothing really um, too difficult. Anybody with a couple punches and a little bit of time can do it on their own. You've got your second magazine here. Since this is a Gen 3 gun, all the Gen 3s ship with two magazines. Your Gen 4s are the ones that have three magazines now that come standard in the box. You've got your child lock, your cleaning brush, and just your general Glock information here in this packet. I wanted to show you guys another cool feature. We kind of talked about what was in that accessory bag, but in that pack, you also get these base plates. Now, these are the Vickers base plates made by Tango Down. 
I'm going to go ahead and insert this into the gun so you guys can kind of take a look at what it does. All right. So you can see how it lines up to the butt plug. What they've actually done is increase the width versus a standard factory base plate here. And what this allows you to do is if in the event that you were having some type of malfunction, uh, let's say a double feed or a failure to extract with another round feeding, and you couldn't, you couldn't just use a slide stop and get your magazine out, this gives you a little bit of room right here to basically get your forefinger and your thumb around it and strip the magazine if you had to, okay? And in that scenario, you'd probably also clear the uh, failure to feed round at that same time. Once the magazine comes out, it'll generally drop through the grip of the gun. So that is a cool addition. It takes all of like 10 seconds to install this uh, base plate versus the factory base plate and really goes well with the gun. Matches in color 100%. They really got it right on this assembly here. Um, so we basically talked about you know what the gun comes with, why you would purchase this over a factory one. Are there any issues aside from you know the initial cost. Well there have been a couple issues that we've noted uh, or heard about um, from friends and some viewers online and stuff. Uh, I guess with these Wilson manufacturers these sites so they did have a bad batch of set screws here um, that were known not to keep tight or would come out and it really didn't cause any issues uh, or any major issues for any of the end users. Really the screw would just pop out and you would lose a screw or lose two screws but the actual sight itself is fit into the dovetail fairly tight, so it is going to remain in place uh, regardless of the screws not being there. But if you call Wilson, they'll send you a replacement set of screws absolutely free, uh, really doing their part on that front. Um, you really can't control batch quality sometimes when you're, after, you know, you're out, outsourcing some of these parts. So. All right, guys, that brings us kind of to the end of this video. We just wanted to introduce the Glock uh, Vickers Edition, the G19 and the G17, the gray frame, second edition from Lipsy's. You guys have probably seen some videos about these already. They've been on the market for a while. Just wanted to give a little spin on it. Um, did the little brief unboxing just to show you what it kind of looked like. Explain some of the additional features that you get uh, for a very nominal uh, purchase price. I mean, you're you're probably spending $100, $120 more and getting about... 200 to 300 dollars worth of accessories added onto the gun that you would probably already do on your own if you if not given that opportunity so um, the other thing to mention with these uh, Vickers guns is when we originally bought when I originally bought mine I spent about 635 to 650 in that range for the G17 and the G19 started looking around a couple weeks ago was really looking trying to get a couple more for some friends and things like that and uh, was actually quite surprised at how much their value is shot up. So these guns are in gun broker selling for excess of nine hundred dollars right now. And you know what that you know that's just market dictating, right? So there's a limit of supply. Um, they are special editions, uh, special versions, collaborative guns between Lipsy's Glock and Vickers. So they're gonna have a little bit more value. If you see one at the gun store near you or if you see one at a dealer or even if your buddy has one um, if the price is fair, if it's under 700 bucks, you're probably doing yourself a favor if you can go ahead and purchase that gun. It's only going to go up in value. It's got a lot of great features already put into the gun. You get the RTF frame, you get an exclusive uh, combination that really works. Um, add, a, add a better trigger and you pretty much set yourself up for any kind of, uh, any kind of position you want, whether it be defensive, tactical shooting, sports shooting, or just recreation. Uh, you've got a gun that'll kind of do it all, and you didn't really have to spend a lot or do the research. It's all put there together in a package that will generally work for every end user. So once again, uh, appreciate you guys watching this video. We know it was kind of quick and gritty and dirty, but we wanted to get something out there so that you guys knew that we were still committed to the channel and we still wanted to pump out videos that were worthwhile. Hopefully in the next couple weeks you guys will see some more videos. We're going to do some um, more dynamic videos where we're not just static and 2D. We're going to go out and shoot. We're going to start pumping in more information and answering some questions. We're going to incorporate more shooters so you kind of see how people approach things differently, fundamentally, and how they react to different situations. Once again, this is Roby, and we really appreciate your support. I uh, look forward to talking to you guys later. Have a good weekend. Bye.
this is the pH of the city gate. 